nice. This literally cat lady heaven. Here's um, Hitler. In the morning. Okay. Pumpkin, what a cutie. Hi, my pumpkin. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Well, pumpkin, huh? Like, you need to do a pumpkin. Who do you want? Pumpkin. Who do you want? He is the he is one of the original ones that they all breeded from here like ten years ago. Oh, that's why they're all so pretty. Yep, and that's why uh, Snowflake and the other one over there is that color. Those are those are called tuxedo cats right there. Yeah. My point of view petting them, I'm like, oh, he's a good baby. Oh, you go. Look at this Halloween cat. Yeah, they said get this one. This one's one that works with. Oh, you got another one, sir? You're mine now. There's a uh, our little spooked kitty. He was meowing earlier. He's not too happy, but he will be later. So we just got back from the vet, and by we I mean JC because I overslept and I wasn't feeling well. So he took Spooky to the vet, and now Spooky is trying to hunt that crow that's barking over there. Shut up. And here's Spooky. He's so cute. He just lets you do anything. Spooky just lets you do anything you want to him. Like, he does not care. He, he's so well behaved for a stray cat, so. Waiting on the test results to come in for him. And uh, once he's shown to not have feline aids, I will be taking him in and Petals will be getting a companion because she will not stop crying. She will not stop screaming anytime I close my bedroom door. She's very clingy and I feel very bad about her being on her own anytime I can't sleep at my house or go out and she's just crying the whole time. So she'll have someone a little cuddlier. With Rain, she didn't really like cuddling with Rain. Rain was kind of like, you're playing too rough with me, get away. So Petals get really mad. So I'm hoping that uh, Spooky and Petals will get along a little bit better. Um, Rain had feline aids and so I was really lucky that she didn't infect Petals because um, if that happened, Petals would have had her lifespan halved like how Rain did. So I'm very lucky about that. So I'm being very careful this time about that because they didn't tell me last time that she had it when I adopted her. So hopefully Spooky can go home with me. But if not, JC will be taking him gladly because he really likes him. He'll be mine. I'm all in love with him. So he's making a big mistake. <laughs> okay, I just want to show you guys how slinky this cat is. He literally thinks my arm is, is a tree branch. Like, no matter how I move him, he just lets me do it. It's amazing. He thinks I'm a tree. So cute. He's a little baby. He just lets you hold him like he's a little infant. He loves it. He would never hurt a fly. doesn't realize that. Oh, she just spotted him.
That was surprisingly peaceful. Hey, Spooky. Aww. Hey! It's her territory, not yours, Spooky. She was being nice. I tried to give him a toy. I tried to give him pets, a treat. Uh, he really doesn't like new environments as a stray cat, I suppose. Oh, poor baby. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll get better. It's been a few hours now, and uh, this is where we're at. <laughs> huh, Spooky? That's the only way I can get him out. It's by stimulating a bird that he yearns for the flesh of. <laughs> He's so aggressive with it. Compared to Petals. Aren't you spooky? You can get him to stop hissing everywhere. He just walks across the room just hissing at nothing. What's your problem, spooky? What's your problem, Spooky? You just hiss at nothing, but then you play like a little doll right now. Like, look at him. Does he look like he's killed hundreds of endangered birds that will cost us thousands of dollars in tax-paying money? Sure, but he's still my little Spooky, and you spook those birds. <laughs> All right, Spooky, fetch. Guys, cut it out. Just say you have a crush on each other. Petals is uh, nervously scratching her pose. She said her good mornings to Spooky, but uh, he said, fuck you. Okay, so I cleaned my sink with bleach and Petals is losing her goddamn mind because it's on my hand. And I just wanted to share how psychotic she is. She loves bleach. Like, look at her. She's biting my hand. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to study Japanese and I can't because she's just losing it. You're a little junky. You're a little druggy. Oh my god. Can I work? Leave my laptop alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm exposing your addiction. Your addiction to bleach. Little bleach kitty. <laughs> Why are you little bleach kitty? She loves when I do this. Like my little tail wag. Okay, Petals, I need to study. Go play with your brother. <gasps> Why you do that? He purrs a lot louder than petals. Yeah, he's about as autistic as every other cat in the world. At least he's playing around this morning. Hey! Spooky! That was a no-no. That was a no-no. Come here, come here. Stop it. You're being a demon kitty. It's so funny, every so often, it's like this little shadow just creeps across the floor, goes under the couch. I have to catch him doing this, how he just runs around like a little shadow. Hey, spooky. 
See that? See that? <laughs> he likes chasing me around. He likes playing hide and go seek. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Every time I come out of the bathroom, he's trying to spook me. walk around and I go over here spooky <gasps> see it's like a little, little shadow toe bean reveal <gasps> oh he didn't like that look at this little criminal Petals. She's just hiding it out until Spooky gets over it. Spooky, not all white girls are the white devil. You know that? And you gotta calm down so I can vacuum. I'm scared to vacuum because I don't want to scare him even more and make him even more uneasy when he's just now kind of coming out of his shell and running around the apartment. You know what, Spooky? I'm gonna sweep. I'm gonna do you a big one. Instead of easily just vacuuming, I'm gonna sweep. Does that intimidate you? Have you seen a broom before, Spooky? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh my God. See? <laughs> there are two types of cats. <laughs> oh my god spooky you look spooky how many times i'm gonna use that joke angel versus devil i can be your i can be your angel or your devil She's so done with him. She's so over him. She doesn't even have like an ounce of fear from him at this point. She's rolling her eyes. Look how ridiculous he is. Look how ridiculous he is. He won't let me take my hand back, but he'll simultaneously growl at petals. Look at this. He's kicking me. He's kicking me. Look, look. He won't even let my hand go. <laughs> He's cranky. <laughs> yes, you are, Spooky. They're communicating through their bodies. Yin and yang. They're inching a little bit closer. There's our progress. So this is night two. It's about two feet apart. They're leaving room for Jesus. Spooky is like a sundere. He's like Inuyasha. Okay, Petals just wants to give him love, but he's being feral because he's like a wild animal that hasn't had love in a long time and it's had a hard life. Right, Petals? You like him. Spooky. Look, there's Spooky and Petals. Hey, Spooky. Are you ever gonna stop complaining about Petals? Ever? Do you think that you and Petals will get along? Are you tapping your tail twice for yes and no? Hmm. 
three times. You're real sneaky, Spooky. I'm trying to take photos with Spooky and he's not being a good participant. He's just wiggling around and angry about petals being in the room. See? Every second with this cat. He has to get tired of growling eventually, right? Spooky. What did Petals do to you? Why are you so angry? Hopefully in like a week from now, something changes because he is just so grumpy. Let's interview Petals and what she thinks of Spooky. Petals, Petals. I want to interview. What do you think of Mr. Spooky? What do you think of him? Uh-oh, Petals, that's not very nice. His name ends with a Y. Don't forget the Y at the end, Petals. Oh, can't believe this cat. Cat supremacist. They're once again communicating through body language just tapping their tails at each other. Oh, here he is. Hey, Spooky. He went to um, go outside of my porch. They like going on there because they can see people walking by. Hey, Spooky, how are you? How are you doing today? You did so good while I was gone. Oh, cat hair. Eh. Looks like I'm gonna have to sweep again. Look, look, they're not hissing. Look at this. See? It's getting better. Hey! And she kissed him earlier. She like sniffed him and then she had her mouth open to like inhale his stink. They're actually not hissing though. That is such a good improvement. Good boy, Spooky. He just comes up to me and gives me kisses. Look, <laughs> he just gave me a kiss. Thank you, Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> I'm drinking my um pumpkin spice latte. He's very interested. He knows it's his season. He doesn't like all this funny business. smart. I love him. I love you, Spooky. Look how he just sits in my lap like a little baby. Like, he came to me and gave me kisses. So I was looking at Spooky, and I was thinking to myself that he acts very particular. You know, he gives affection in a way that's almost human. He'll come up to me, put his paw on my chest to get my attention and give me a kiss. Um, he's definitely an unusual cat and I had this thought pop in my head. It didn't even feel like my own thought uh, and it was a name and I don't even know if I've ever heard this name before but the name that popped in my head is Vesper and apparently it's a boy version of the name Venus. And uh, if you look it up, it means evening star. Both Venus and this name are referred to as evening star. And uh, literally, nightfall is one of the definitions. And I thought that's so cool because he's a black kitty. So maybe I should call him Vesper. Maybe that's a some sort of sign, especially since I had no idea what the name meant. What do you think, Petals? Do you like the name Vesper? And if you guys look above my head here, I just woke up, so I'm a little messy, but I have Venus above my bed. The interesting thing is when I was thinking about Spooky and how he gives affection, 
that's in the same sentiment as love, like how much love he gives. And then that name Vesper pops in my head and it literally means nightfall, evening star. Like it's very, it's very strange. I think that's supposed to be his name. And when I first called him that, he actually did respond to it. So I think I might rename him to Vesper. So I just realized something. I have had this song by Bjork stuck in my head for the past week. I, let me tell you, I never listened to Bjork before. I knew her name and I know she was known for being weird. And for the past week, her song, Venus as a Boy, has been stuck in my head nonstop. Like I can't get it to stop. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, the song is good, but like, why is it stuck in my head for a week straight? It goes like, he believes in beauty. He's Venus as a boy. And I was like, what does it mean? Like, why does it keep playing in my head nonstop? So now I realize, you know, a week later, after I get spooky, the whole time I've had him, the song's been in my head. And the name Vesper pops up in my head. Literally, he's Venus as a boy. Vesper is the boy version of Venus as a name. And I had no idea before this. Like, how did, I, I didn't know that. That's insane. That's crazy. Let me know what you guys think if I'm just being schizophrenic or if this is actually something a little bit paranormal. Because I'm feeling it's a little bit weird. But in any case, thank you so much to everyone who supports my content. Thank you to my patrons and my producers from Patreon. And if you guys want to join the community Discord, we're doing very spooky movie nights every night on Discord, and we do other events that are fun on the Discord as well. So if you want somewhere to hang out and meet people, joining my Discord is a good way to do that and have some fun in your spare times. All right, I'm gonna go shower now and wrangle this mane. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.